did they absolutely forgot that this pick was available in the get-go, but of course, understanding that they went in for those priority picks. Now, it's time for us to tell, can Impunity actually challenge the turret? He's basically diving right in with his Atlas. Now, back to where's the land of Dawn. We'll battle. see if there's going to be Smash any more them. big dives, and hopefully nobody fumbles Welcome for getting into Mobile its deep Legend. waters. So, with that, we're going to be seeing whether or not can Impunity keep up the pace mm -hmm. as Todak finally finds their form. Here we go. Again, I think what really changes uh, the formula here for Impunity is the fact that they picked up the Veil. Uh, veil literally has no way out. That's why he has to pick up the Flicker. But with that being said, I think the combination of all the winds, man, the blades, the storms, I think it's enough. Because again, he's literally just damage on a stick. That's yeah. all this hero is about. So uh, Todak have to watch out. I think uh, they, they, they have a solid plan, especially with Moon. Like, Moon can dodge those wind uh, skills from uh, our good friend Hakura right here. Yeah, and right now, very really good defense coming in from Todak as well, blocking the entry points from members of Impurity to reach the camps. Boom getting flushed away, just soaking some damage, but you know, nothing too much for him to worry about with some regens coming up. So, Boots already being purchased by the Valir, and well, Stu just taking his time out as he gets zoned a little bit. Yep, Forme is trying to secure his own... No, wait, he is invading! Wow, Forme's went deep! <laughs> and Nager's saying, hey, get away from there. This is my orange. This is uh, this is for Opie. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, he will really sprint off, but... Oh, boom. Can't really say he's in trouble just about yet. He yeah. was just level 2, so he's just chunking out the damage. Okay, a little bit too much pressure with the Brody coming in from the back, but he just wants to secure the river crap and E1. Just making sure that he does not pass go. Mm -hmm. And, well, back to the mid lane, he goes. Wow. Boom is making a figure eight, not just across the river, but everywhere. <laughs> this guy has been everywhere, literally. E1, looking like he's in pain. Okay. There's the blazing the wet by Opie. Not enough. Flicker burned, though. That's going to be fine. A close one for Toto. Yeah, very, very close one. If he does have the last tick of that blazing the wet alongside with an auto attack, that would be able to seal the deal. But no first blood discount yet. Seal so Baby already starting up that turtle. Great signs for inside of Impurity to secure it, but look at the back, though. Stu in position. Hello, in comes the Lapu Lapu, looking for the finish. Oh, he's taking too much damage. Already flickering in. There's the Avatar of the Guardian catching up Stu, but first blood is drawn first by Todak. Trading out, Opi takes out Stu. It's a one for one so far, and Turtle goes over to Todak despite Impunity starting it, and both teams retreat. Such a good retake coming in from the side of Toda. You just saw how they slowly step right in and start from Stu actually bringing all the pressure all the way back in towards the own jungles of Impurity. And with them all distracted, hey, Turtle became free. Mm -hmm. I love exactly how you put it. Like they slowly made their way, inching slowly. All right, slow. All right, all right. Let's wait for Ewan. And there he is. He wasn't even part of the fight. Yeah, like, like, Ewan, like, Ewan was just waiting. His mere presence <laughs> was a threat. Yeah, it's like, okay, nobody goes anywhere near this Brody. We know what he could do. Okay. Love the service stickers that's been coming out throughout the entirety of the M2. And hopefully there's even more to be made by the end of M2, whoever becomes champion, you know, mm -hmm. you get lots to brag about. Uh-huh, your legacy is complete. It is immortalized. Now looking at this, another big fight happening here. Oh, Ooh. the blades, all of the wind and the storm putting Moon at very low HP. That's going to be two for none. Make that a one for two trading out. Boom, bites it. But now Naker's low. Naker's still alive. Oh, oh, they traded out. Chiku is the one who gets it in the end. Can there be another kill here? Yes, the answer is yes. But Opie <gasps> will win the what? duel. It's messy. But in the end, Opie walks away. Swagger on Pat. He walks, not even looking at the explosion. 302 for this jungler right here. It's looking good for Impunity. I honestly didn't think that they would go blow for blow. Let's watch that once again because it was neck and neck. But hey. Four kills, definitely a great sign. But look at Chiku, though. He went bravely to secure the triple on the Brody, but he knew it was really tough for him to make an escape with Opie just having a lot more health to trade. Mm -hmm. When you're in that state, it's a state of flow, man. When you're in the zone and you're looking at your Brody like, oh, wow, pow, pow, pow. Oh, wait, <laughs> the other core is still here. That's exactly what happened. But now Chiku, he's a man on a mission. He's looking for vindication. He takes out Boom. And this is what we're talking about, right? Boom, for the past, what, 
better part of five minutes. He's been going around the map just being a huge thorn in the side of Todak. But at some point, people can just say, it's over. People can just say, we've had enough. And now here's another duel, another fight for the Turtle. And that's going to be one going over to Chico. Seo Abby in the back line is looking low. That's going to be the old pulled in by Chiku. That's the double. Seo Abby and OP taken out. That's a good takeout, man. Two for none. Two yeah. for none. Convert it. You don't need to. Yeah, like you can see Chiku was so confidently pulling in those skills. It's already six in advantage as compared to, you know, the opposing side. Now, this could be pretty much the buff being jacked off. And I think that this is going to be tough for Naked to do much, but he's still going in to dive straight in towards the side of Todak as he tries Ooh. to stop them up. Oh, Fatal Links will be able to pull them back. Ooh. And with Kagura setting that yin yang overturn to be able to secure that two kills in the back for Todak. Oh, that takes a lot of courage to be able to say, hey, it's what, six minutes in and we want to take your purple? That's going to be a double for Stu. And oh, the inevitable has happened, man. The glass cannon is more glass than cannon. As they dive into Hakurai, this Vale is not having a good day. Zero, three, and five. Yeah. I mean, it's good to say five, but zero and three. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Still getting shattered to pieces at the moment. Hopefully, you know, if he does get a few more items in, he should be much more safer. So, speaking of that, I do wonder what's the itemization like for the side of Chiku. Mm -hmm. Chiku has just been going crazy. 6-1-1. One, one. Hold up. 6-1-1. One, one. <laughs> That's amazing. Now they're chasing Seo Abby up top. Oh, Fatal Link's on to one. Worth it nonetheless as they try to free up top lane. I think that's what Todd's trying to do. Yeah, and you can see they're just pressing them from every single corner that they can get. And I believe that they could actually secure the tier one over the top side of the map. And that will be happening real soon. Ablabu that does get that one in the back. So a play of despair is coming in for Tiku. And that spells even worse troubles ahead for Impunity. Mm -hmm. I'm liking the pickup on the Blade of Despair given its uh, effect, wherein you deal more damage to things that are already dying anyways. So, again, the fact that there's only two damage dealers from Impunity makes this the perfect item for Chico. Now they want to engage on the Naker. Oh, not gonna happen. First turtle uh, take here before they go for a fight. Alecto, final blow from underneath. Naker looks low, and we're gonna be moving on to another fight. Oh, Fatal Link's on to nothing. Oh boy. But they get him anyways. Naker goes down off camera and E1 bites it. Seo Abby is here to make him pay. That's another. So far, two for two. It's okay, Immunity. It's getting what they can, but it's a little messy on the side of Todak as they force this mid lane push. Yeah, they are forcing a cross map play, and it does seem a little bit of the uh, hecticness across the map. But hey, at the very least, Todak still walk away with another turret in the back. So that 2-2 two -two trade was actually very much worth it. So more map control coming in for Todak, but this is where Snaker is hoping to make a play. But Chiku is still going to be the main. Oh, that was close. Oh, Contra, let me say, this is how ahead Todak is. All right, Chiku is all alone, and he's facing down against three big bruiser boys. Well, one lady, right? The yeah. Hilda was there. <laughs> of course, you have Naker and Seo Abby. And the thing is, man, check this out. The thing is, he was so bold to say, all right, let me put some marks on y'all, torn apart memory, and then I'm out. Like, he doesn't care, and he knew that he could get away with it. Yeah, like, you, you can obviously see that he has already ramped up, like, he's level 13, mind you. Just look at the levels, how much it's so far hit oh, yeah. as compared to Impunity KH. Oh, yeah. Wow, they haven't even hit double digits. Uh, yeah, and I, I don't think that they are ready for any sort of battle right now, because for... The average levels for Todak before he hit those double digit mark. So it's going to take some time for them to be able to get anywhere near Chiku. He's yeah. already level 14. Yeah. Just takes one more level. And yeah, that's it. He's, he's, he's reaching his, uh, his, uh, his final peak. form. Yeah, his final form. So yeah, the thing is Chiku just recently picked up uh, the Whoa, Queen's Wings. So soon. all the more he can be bold, all the more he can be brave and say, hey, boom, Naker. Seo Abby, come on, fight me. Like, I'm fine, but I think up next in his priorities would be a uh, a River Crab and, of course, maybe even Solo Lord. Like, yeah, it's not impossible. Speaking of that, he's already soloing the Lord. If the cameras actually go right in, boom, as well as Naker, they know what's going on. They're trying to find a way to push right through, but there's too much of a defense coming in from the side of Todak. There's no one that could possibly push all the way through at this bait. Set up perfectly oh. with the Fatal Links and towards everyone right there. 
three of the members of Impurity escaped, but they left with nothing in the back. Oh no, Opie misclicks the body of uh, the battle mirror image, and he just goes ahead and fl uh, and blinks right into his death. As thought that not even needing the Lord penetrates down mid. Boom gets oh. hit by a one man fatal links. Down he goes. Chiku is just godlike. Hakurai can do nothing but watch. He has survivor's trauma now. Indeed, and well with the flame shot to clean it all up. The avatar of the garden will not be too much as the rest of Imperial members fall flat. A couple more taps will do the trick and Todak will be able to make a splash of a comeback to, to nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, Todak is back. Todak has just swept Impunity KH and it's a little odd to say, but it's 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 very similar game one and two. Yes, in in a very convincing fashion as well. But this time, even better. Like you just see the confidence that was oozing. The blade of despair, as well as the Raptor Machete, and then for defensive wise, he has the Bloodless Axe to make him sustain a team fight, even if he's low. With a good turn apart memory, he will re regenerate.